Hi, this is the preparation video for, um, I believe, lesson three. In fact, that's one change I want to make is I haven't been doing a good job. Um, well, I guess the, the last one would be the first one I had the opportunity. I missed it to um, review where we've been. So let's go to courses, algebra, and uh, latest, so we're in fall 2020. And yes, I want to open up the previous video, or uh, sorry, the previous lesson, and use that as the walkthrough of um, just to review what we did the last time. So I forgot to do that last time. I will remember to do that hopefully uh, this time. So I want to open up uh, the student video by reviewing. Uh, the coordination and coordinates uh, and game design that we did last time uh, remind them about the game design document that they that they they worked through. But this <clears throat> lesson is going to be order of operations. I think we finally get to start doing some we scheme coding this week. Um, yes, I think we're going to do circles of evaluation, which. It's one of the great things about using the scheme version and how easily that translates into code. So let's get started prepping the slides. Making my own version. And we're going to call that. Oops. Zero three dash. And just to reinforce my habit of having the uh, Lesson notes up on one screen, we scheme on another, and the presentation up on another. Do it this way. <clears throat> Again, hey, if you have the ability to use uh, the uh, pair. Uh, system that would be that's great if you're being able to to walk through these interactively with a student but I don't delete those where I see them ah circles of evaluation so much fun missed you. I haven't been doing much closure at work, so I haven't been doing any schemey type stuff in several months. Good. All right. So we're going to finally get into doing we scheme, start a new program. And uh, um uh, if you've seen the other playlist, um, that is the last time I taught through this. I did a little intro with that, and and um, one of the things I pointed out, and if you look look at those videos, um, we used uh, my son and I as we went through this uh, racket, which is super great, best programming teaching environment ever, and you can it, it's it's also a professional programming environment, um, and that's been. Uh, extended the, the the student part of it has been extended here to this we scheme um, and and you know it you, you can't beat having great error messages having a clearly laid out environment um, and trying to start with a professional programming language a professional programming environment um, I think is just counterproductive to uh, to really learning um, what programming is all about, and especially when we're trying to teach these algebraic concepts to maybe kids who have struggled with algebra, um, no reason at all to add in the complexity of a professional programming environment on top of all that. It just really limits the people who can um, get the 
the uh, benefit and joy out of programming to people who can struggle through um, those really difficult environments we throw at them. So Love We Scheme um, even shows here uh, not only you know definitions area, interaction area, but when we hover over those areas, they get their name. Um, so this will be the REPL. i got to remember the, to mention um, the term REPL because I don't think it's in the slides anywhere, but I want to bring it up. Let's see, we don't want to do that. We can just do, oops. All right, we're gonna use the interactions area. Try some numbers, page eight. Let's make sure that we have a, oops. That's why I practice it. Alt tab, page eight. Notice and wonder, what do we notice and wondering? Numbers. I played with this earlier this week, so I'm not going to play too much with it now. But hey, if you're teaching this for the first time yourself, um, and you, especially if you've not done any scheme, um, really um, hit this. Take this, this opportunity to learn a great environment. Um, one thing they point out that that is not a division. Right, it is uh, a fraction, so we're entering a rational number um, using the slash character. It shows in decimal there, but it could also show as its pure fraction. Uh, what do we do to get if we get that? So we get a um, indication of a repeating decimal. We get the actual fraction. What if we get a real long one? It's not super long, but. We can go back and forth between the representation of this rational number. Now, these are all numbers. This is a rational number. Let's see if when we enter that way is also. Yes. So it's you know, even if we enter a decimal. It will give its rational representation. Oh, I don't know how to I don't I don't know any syntax to enter a repeating decimal so that would just have to be with um, uh, just have to be with a decimal representation of it yeah I'm mean, sorry with the uh, fraction representation of it all right large numbers so we'll demo some large numbers some small numbers two numbers on the same line like one and two okay it executes both of those expressions um, one after the other negative numbers yes they do what if we did something like three minus two good we get um, if we do it with no space uh, and I don't think we, I don't know if we talk about errors here, but I want to go ahead and show you. Know, anytime we, we uh, are going to work at the REPL, we're going to talk about errors. Uh, I think the errors come up more uh, explicitly in another lesson. But in this one, well, it's because I didn't use any spaces, it's treating this 3 2 as a variable name and it's not defined, which makes sense. Uh, but what if we did 3 space dash 2? Okay. Well, it's those are three things. There's the number three, the function minus, and the number two. So it's not what they expect, but um, it's not an error in the same sense that this was. So we can talk about all of those things. Oh, good. They, we do talk about error messages. Cool. Uh, so let's see. I want... So this is for them to do. And I'm going to tell them to do that and then fill out the, this. So the, yeah, this is just like a 10 minute exercise. Pause, do those things. I will do a few of them when I come back 
to here. I bet these fly in. I've been surprised by that a couple of times. Oh, okay. That, 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 that different like paragraph things have flown in. I thought they were all going to be there. Um, so, yep, we'll talk about those things. So, yeah, pause there. Then I'll go on. I will try some and, and demonstrate all of these things. We'll talk about PEMDAS. Um, <clears throat> I liked what I did last time I taught this, or you know, talk about the uh, arbitrary nature of order of operations, uh, math as a language that um, is not precise, that there's a lot of ambiguity in it, um, as opposed to computer languages, which are more precise. Can't get too verbose with uh, the REPL stuff or with this stuff because we actually do have to get through the the um, circles of evaluation. If you don't know about this way of teaching, um, go through this curriculum and get really familiar, do the exercises, and get familiar with circles of evaluation. They're great. Uh, yeah, I did notice last time I went th through th these slides in prep. Um, this note actually goes with this, this, but I'm not going to end up using that, so I'm not going to move it around on my version. Mm, it's interesting that that's code there, but I think... So we haven't opened up a worksheet yet. Here we go. All right, so we have some worksheets. And then that's all we have. So, is this the place where they talk about the spider? We do talk about the spider. Okay. Okay. And they do it at the very first one. Okay. So, we are going to hang out uh, for a while on each of these. All right. What does it mean to evaluate this? We have a plus, we have three, and an eight. And then we'll talk about these things all represent the same thing. And I think then I'll talk about the, the monster first from here and talk about, if you don't know that analogy, the way it, the way it works according to these rules here is we start from the top and then go left to right. And that every, t in order to turn a circle of evaluation into code, every time we cross a line, we put a paren. So, uh, across, a, across a circle, we put a paren. So, as the monitor is coming through, comes through, crosses a line, so we put a paren, eats the function, which is the slash, then we go left to right. So, the next thing that happens is that this line has no um, meaning to the monster. Next thing we happen is a six. Next thing that happens is a three, and then it comes out. So the code, I won't do that. The code for dividing six by three becomes ren divide six, three, and we get two as expected. So we get a chance to do that with a um, different example. Uh, let's look at page 9, 10, 11. Not, not there. There's plenty of practice. 9, 10, 11, good. And I, I, I opened these before. And optional. So we got 
a bunch of examples on that because it's, it's a really key concept to be able to do that. <clears throat> may even want to do one to show my to, 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 to do some more examples at the REPL of doing like nine Optional code. Let's look at that one. Yeah, I think I'll, all right. So yeah, I, I think I'll go down to one of these optional ones um, and just do that. Like, let's look at this one, minus 21. So monster's going to come along and it's going to be paren minus. 21, then another paren. Let's go ahead and do that first. Paren minus 21. And it's going to be another expression in it. Oh, let's see. Did I eat that? Let's do that again. Paren minus 21. Paren. Ah, it, uh, my cursor was over. Okay, so then I get another pair. And then we're going to have star. 413. So that's how you turn those into code. So we'll use this optional next to last one as an example. And really, they need to do all of those or as many as possible. Um, to really get that in. So this actually won't be a long video. Um, we don't have much stop for them, just one stop. So um, they should go ahead and, and do all of those, do, do a couple of these pages uh, right now as part of this session, and then a few more pages tomorrow or before the next session. I think that'll be where I'll put it. All right, that all sounds good.